for well, one. my wife and I did a foolish thing. We read the book of Acts together again. And no matter what, I know it's not a biblical term, this word missionary, but we'd never had anybody interpret it. Not the mission board, not seminary. So we're struggling in a country that's had almost 300 years of missionary activity. And I'm not made for that. I'm not made for a pastorate. I'm made as an evangelist church planter. I'm not a pastor teacher. And, and, and that's part of my problem. Uh, I, I've got a bachelor's, master's, and a doctorate. But all of that poured into me, even though Jesus said, I'm sending you a sheep among wolves. They trained me to be a sheep among sheep. Mm. That's mm. why Somali ate my lunch. I had no tools, no way of thinking my way through the wolves of this world. And, and so we studied the book of Acts together, and I wrote on a piece of paper the word missionary. And at the end of those weeks, as we studied it, I wrote down for us, as we talked about it, that for us, a sent out one was to go where people had little or no chance to hear. And that week, we wrote our mission support uh, organization and said, we've got to get out of places where they have access to the gospel. Uh, it looks like the nearest places that need us are, is northern Sudan or Somalia. Uh, I had almost, we had all almost died of malaria. We had been, that's why we ended up from Malawi in South Africa. They said, you will never be allowed back in malaria country. But because of the desperate need there, they said, we'll let you go there. If you get really sick again, we're going to pull you out immediately. Hmm. But from reading the book of Acts, writing that word missionary on a piece of paper, we are to go where people have little or no chance to hear. And two months later, we're in Kenya, uh, studying Swahili, studying Somalia. And they said, uh, take your time. It's going to take you three to five years to get in there. Four months after we started trying to get in there, we were in there. I mean, my mm -hmm. first trip in six months, eight of us are feeding 50,000 people a day. We're burying 20 children and old people every morning before we can feed that's left alive. We're in there six, eight months before I, and I think it didn't change. I just stopped counting mm. six, eight months before we ever met a, a lady over 13 years of age that hadn't been raped eight, 10, 12 times. Mm. It was part of their daily dialogue. They didn't talk about when they went to get water, whether or not they'd be raped. What they would talk about is who they hoped that would be. Because the guys that staked out those water spots, some were kinder than others. And, 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 and for that, to watch sin spiral a culture down that low to where you're parsing your death-defying sinful acts, um, um, what do you do when everything's crucifixion and nothing's resurrection?